Hello and welcome to another Union Arena unboxing and as you probably have read in the video title or thumbnail this will be my my last Union Arena unboxing for probably I don't know quite some time maybe forever I don't know uh, I already did a community post and I've talked uh, in previous unboxings about it that I still have to reduce the numbers of unboxings that I do and uh, yeah, TCGs I buy into. So yeah, I recently started the 10 TCGs, 10 booster pack series. And uh, yeah, besides that, there won't be, or well, I, I just can't really afford to do so many different TCGs anymore since I will uh, focus on Zillions of Enemy X and V-Cross. So yeah, we, we still get some more interesting releases and uh, in the near future, there will be an Arknights set, which probably has amazing, like, I never played Arknights, but I have seen a lot of anime figures, and they look so good. So character design in general in Arknights looks very nice. And there will be a Sword Art Online 2 release. Uh, what else? There was recently a, a reprint of Nike, Goddess of Victory, but to be honest, like I didn't really saw it. Like I was expecting that many stores get a uh, product again, but I just never found them. Like I, oh, you already have the, the parallel head of the box. Oh no, uh, man, that's not really like one of the my favorite characters. Uh, I would really like to, to pull Hakari or what was her? Karani, yeah, but we get uh, Kus Kusuri, yeah, this was, I'm so bad with names, I have to look it up, but yeah, I think it's also in the back, <laughs> in the background, I mean, yeah, of course, the, the parallel cards look amazing in, in Union Arena, but it's just, I don't know if there is a, she has a, a adult form. Uh, would have liked to, to get the adult form, not so much into the little girl characters, but there's still hope we should get, I've already forgotten five super rares, five or six. Oh man, I get the, another of the young uh, super rare characters. The, the texture and stuff is, Looking so nice. They really improved the, the super rares or the, the box opening experience in general, I would say. It's just uh, so much better uh, compared to like Weiss Schwarz. And of course, I know Weiss Schwarz boxes tend to be cheaper. Like Union Arena is priced around six thousand or six thousand five hundred yen and why schwarz should be i think they have increased in price recently if even if they are they're not doing things better or more different but i think they got more expensive oh that's that's a nice super rare that's a nice one yeah, I would have liked to get a parallel of her, but <laughs> it is what it is. Second super rare already. But yeah, I, I think they were around 4,500 or 5,000, but I mean, both like use these screenshots, so they're not putting effort into, into the design. Another of her. And uh, yeah. Just all the super rares you get from a box make it just so much better, in my opinion. And of course, the high hits. Since they introduced the pen signed cards, like it's so much better. It's just so much better to to open Union Arena than Weiss Schwarz. And yeah, I was. Or I Maybe I still have a little bit of hope that. Weiss Schwarz like tries to improve 
for a long time I had the feeling that they were, yeah, getting just lazy because they are in the anime TCG world, they are just so popular already, so they don't really have to put any effort. Like when there's no competition, you get lazy. That's just human psychology and I think it also affects markets or yeah, how companies work and yeah, with the rise of Union Arena, like recently we got the the Union Arena release in America and it looks pretty nice. Like a lot of people get excited and play the game and there were like some special promos that sold for uh, like the winner promos of the super pre-release that were selling for good money I saw and yeah I, I think there is a lot of hype and like not artificials so like really people genuinely interested in playing the game or collecting the cards of their favorite TCG um don't know how the situation is with product availability looking back at Digimon and One Piece like Bandai always like printed not enough so people got like angry about them that there is like not enough product in stores and they couldn't um, get their hands on products for regular price and people trying to scalp I I just hope they learn, but maybe this is just a model that's working. I don't know. And uh, yeah, since I'm I'm based in Europe, so I hear they are not available for like probably more expensive. But no, no tournament scene. I read recently they introduced Union Arena to China. So maybe there's still hope, but usually the European market is not so interesting. For yeah, compared to North America, of course, like they they are more lucrative. Like they have more money to spend on on shiny cardboard, probably. And I get it. But yeah. As I said, I will not be able to open so much Union Arena. Or like <laughs> Union Arena at all. Maybe I will open a booster pack from time to time in the 10 TCGs, 10 booster packs, unboxings. But yeah, just box openings will be reduced to... Uh, maybe I will add Detective Conan. I really like it, even if the unboxings don't get a lot of attention too. And yeah. In the West, it's not feeling that... I don't feel like... Detective Conan is as popular as in Japan. In Japan, Detective Conan is still like hype and it's getting quite good sales. But yeah, I don't know if I can afford that, but I will try. And yeah, last. Okay, we get three. I haven't counted three action points. Cute. But yeah, super rare, super rare. Have I miscounted? Maybe I sorted them in the bulk, uh, but just four super rares and the parallel. But yeah, thank you so much for, for watching and for supporting me and my channel. And yeah, I hope you are excited for the future. I will try to, to show more unboxings, especially, especially like from time to time for the channel members who support me, uh, who make it, yeah, that I can buy more stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.